Ma'am, what about people who consume only raw foods? Like in naturopathy, yeah. generally they say consume only raw foods, right? To uh, heal your uh, whatever problem. Yeah. See, what raw foods are consume? good. In naturopathy system, they recommend natural foods. But then we need to have that fire element to digest them. Mm-hmm. They are little hard to digest because there is no fire in them, right? They're, we are consuming naturally, natural form. But when we cook them, there will be inclusion of fire element, which helps in the digestion process. It becomes easy for our system to digest. If we okay. have that capacity, if our body has more fire element, like Pitta kind of person, and we do a lot of physical work, a lot of walking, strenuous work, then we can consume raw foods, no problem. It is only mm-hmm. they are hard to digest, hence not much recommended in Ayurveda or natural our system. Better to okay. steam at least and consume. Okay, thank you. Mm. Even Ambli, mm. like Dr. Kadar says that, you know, for somebody who has chronic illness, mm. he says three times Ambli mm. uh, yeah. a day. I know. <laughs> uh, that is like yeah. sustaining like that extreme. is a very... mm-hmm. Mm. Usually in Ayurveda, fermented products are not recommended at nights. Right, right. Uh, they, it will imbalance the system. But in extreme cancer conditions and all, maybe it will improve this naturally, the gut bacteria. So more we are giving in a concentrated form, the good bacteria. So which reduces mm. the cancerous cells. It is an, anti-cancer, right? All these products. Mm. So there he's trying to maintain more good bacteria there. Giving all the three kinds. But better to avoid at nights. That I, I would say that morning and afternoon mm. would be good. Yeah. Because of that acidic nature, you are saying, right? Acidic also curd should not, should not be consumed in the evenings. As per yeah. Ayurveda, yeah. Okay. It will cause the imbalance. Though yeah. good bacteria may be present. Hmm? Scientifically, it is also not good. That's what uh, in Ayurveda they say, right? Yeah. Di- problem indigestion will happen and then digestion will happen. Also, basically, curd is heavy in nature that's what Mm. it is heavy for the system and when there is no sun and fire element outside we can't digest it inside also the same fire right so it's the same pattern outside and inside whenever sun is there we should prefer heavy foods that is the logic but buttermilk like as a curd is heavy but buttermilk can we consume during like in the evening or like night not much recommended, but okay. It's better than curd. Better than curd. Sometimes okay. it's okay. Yeah. yeah. But preferably, afternoon only, we should finish this curd and buttermilk. Namaste, friends. Thank you so much for listening to these discussions on digestive health. So every month we'll be having the gut health course where we address all the digestive issues, how to correct them, what is the right way to consume food, how the gut bacteria impacts our brain and various other things, how Ayurveda talks on gut bacteria and gut health. And we'll also discuss on how to correct various digestive disorders using simple Panchabhuta therapy where we just provide the five elements to the body and correct the root problem. So if you are interested, you may please join this course that will happen every month from now. And you may join this telegram group that we have in Unify. And you can just click the above link and join the telegram group where you will get to know all the updates on the courses we take. The flyers will be shared there. So you can join the course and get benefited. Thank you.